in the state of Minnesota, they were uh, electric stock all over the world. They took over the police department. The police were running down the street, sirens blazing, the rest of them running. It was on camera. And then they wiped out. You probably have to build a new one, but I've never seen anything like it. And, and the whole world was laughing. Two days, three days later, I spoke to the governor. The governor is, I think, by the call, and he's the next one guy. And all of a sudden, and I said, you got to use the National Guard to make numbers. They did it first, then they did. And I'll tell you that, I don't know what it was. It was governor, it was the third night, fourth night. Those guys walked through that stuff like it was butter. They walked right through. And you haven't had any problems since. I mean, they don't. They're not going to go there. Now they'll go to some other place. But once you called out and you dominated, you took the worst place and you made it. They didn't even cover it last night because there was so little action. Because you dominated. You dominated. Now, what happened to New York? I have to tell you, I live in Manhattan. What's going on in Manhattan? I have no idea. New York's finest. They got to be allowed maybe to do their job. I don't know what's happening in Manhattan, but it's terrible. And because it's New York, because it's Manhattan, it gets a lot of press. So they they really spend a lot of time on it. But New York has got to have to tough it up. And we'll send you National Guard if you want. You have the largest police force in the country, 40,000 people, I understand. But what's going on in New York is terrible. It's terrible. Of all the places. What went on last night in Los Angeles with the stores and the storefronts is terrible. No domination. You have to dominate. Yeah, go ahead, Tom.